Android 7.0, aka Android Nougat, is officially official for the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. If you own either one of these phones, you'll be upgraded to OnePlus's Oxygen OS 4.0 that comes with Android 7.0 Nougat. Happy 2017, everyone. <laughs> FYI, this update is rolling out in increments, meaning that some people are still waiting for their update while others have already finished downloading and upgrading it. If you still haven't received the update and don't want to wait, I'll show you how to easily and safely push the new version of Oxygen and Android to your OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T. You're welcome. On the left is my OnePlus 3T, on the right is my OnePlus 3. Neither received the update to Android 7.0 automatically, I had to manually push both. The first thing you want to do is see if you can push the software without having to download any other third party apps. To do this, go into your settings, select system updates, and tap on check for update. If it keeps telling you your system is up to date and you know you're still on Android Marshmallow, that is Android 6. whatever, blah blah blah, then let's manually push it. Uh, is that reference too old? Push it, push it, push it, push it. Yeah, I still like the other one better. Push it to do this, you're gonna have to download an app called Free VPN Proxy by SnapVPN. Look for it in the Play Store. Don't worry, I'll wait. Okay, I'm done waiting, just pause the video. Once installed, open the app. Be careful of all the spam, don't install all that nonsensical ad bullshit that flies your way. Free VPN will automatically connect to a Canadian server. And once you're connected, go back into your settings, select system updates once again, and tap on check for update. Boom, Android Nougat. If you're still not getting the update, I've heard people are connecting to Germany's server instead, so give that a shot. With Nougat, you're talking about one swipe down for quick toggles, another swipe for an extended look, a cleaner settings UI, multi-window view, and by default, multi-window view is accessed by holding the recents button, but it's only defaulted if you have the on-screen navigation bar enabled. On-screen navigation bar, capacitive buttons. OnePlus 3 gives you the option to use either or. If you hold the recents capacitive button, it'll pop up with a menu of whatever app you're in. If you want to enable it with the capacitive buttons, go into settings, select buttons, and under long press action, select open close split screen. Hey, I'm Steely. Follow me and my adventure through this office. Excuse me, can I help you? Starting with common office objects. Hey, 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 that's my stuff. Such as staplers and pins and all sorts of things like such as that. And there's a lot more. If you're looking for a little more info on Android 6.0 versus 7.0, feel free to take a look at a video I made a few months ago comparing the two. What's nice about this update is that it now synchronizes the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T as far as system updates. One won't or shouldn't get an update earlier than the other. Now they'll both be on the same time schedule. Schedule. Do note, this is only Android 7.0. If you're on a Google Pixel or a Pixel XL, you'll be on the latest and greatest software of Android 7.1.1, but I'm sure that version is in OnePlus's future. Now you won't be left in the dark with all those weird checkboxes when someone's trying to send you an emoji. Or when you get that very same checkbox next to a face or a hand when all they're trying to do is send a different skin tone version. Because let's face it, that's all you wanted from the update, right?